Hello, my lovely Libras, and welcome to your seven day energy reading and check in. We are going to hop right in and get started. We're going to start with this Piper at the head of your reading here. Um, it's paired with the heart connection. Um, the way I'm seeing this particular reading is it is either a significant other um, or it is a best friend or a sibling. It's someone very close to you, okay? Um, so it may differ for all of you. Um, but the way I'm kind of seeing this is we have this Piper and a Piper leads, right? So if we jump down here to the very beginning of the read, we have fifth of footer and the leadership card. Um, what I'm kind of getting from this energy at the beginning of your week is all of these mushrooms here are, they grow kind of in a circular, um, shape, but what happens is they all kind of come from one specific root at the bottom. Um, so all of these problems are coming from one source. And what it kind of feels like is you want to take a leadership role to heal this situation. I feel like there are some little, I hear petty arguments or um, digs at each other. Um, for some, I hear siblings. So this could be siblings or rivalry of some sort. Um, but it looks like it's just little nagging things in the very beginning of the week. Um, so if we hop in towards the center of the week here, we have um, back to the past and transformation. So what I'm kind of feeling like in this energy is maybe we're looking back to the beginning of the week and that leadership role we're trying to take here in this situation. Um, it's almost like we didn't quite get it figured out yet. Um, we really do still at this point midweek want to transform this situation and just make it better because when it all comes down to it, this is someone that we love. So if this is in a love relationship, it could be you and your partner arguing over little things. Um, but there's a root cause to these things. Um, so it's like trying to figure out what it is so we can sort of pull it up and heal it. So if we jump towards the end of the week here, we have the Dark Lady, which I kind of have to keep covered. The Soul Shrinker in reverse, which is pretty good. Um, it's a good thing we don't have him in the upright. Um, and then we have Alignment with the Castle and Vitality. Um, so it does look, now we do take note, we have the Sun and the Moon here. So, and then Alignment. So it's trying to get back into balance and alignment with your person or with whoever this person is in your life. Um, it could be a parent. I hear parent child or um, parent daughter, parent son energy too. Um, so there is just a heaviness in this connection with this dark lady. And then we have the soul shrinker in reverse. So it's, it's words that were spoken now we can take it back to the very beginning of the week and realize that it was something that was spoken, that it was taking, taken sort of out of context that sort of hurt someone's feelings, right? Um, so that's kind of what this disagreement, it seems, kind of comes down to. It's I don't know if it was careless with words and um, we said something or they took something out of context and, and made it seem like something else. Um, whatever the case may be, they took it to heart and it's been causing all these little problems in this relationship. Um, so towards the end of the week, we see alignment and, uh, vitality. So it's bringing that light back to the situation, really seeing where we went wrong, perhaps apologizing for it. Um, I see loyalty and honesty here. So like I said, it might be an honest apology that needs to come come back into the mix and then maybe just showing that you are still loyal to this connection, to your person, um, to this situation healing, right? We're loyal to healing this situation. Um, so it's just, I hear it's a bump along the path in the journey. Um, and I feel like every time we provide clarity, in a situation with another person that we love, um, we really can get to the point where we can release that old toxic energy and really bump it up a notch and make it more beautiful and, and really um, re-solidify that connection. So that's kind of what this feels like. It kind of feels like it's all for grander purpose. Um, 
it's almost showing you both that you can go through little ups and downs and still pull out and pull through on the other side, um, still loving and connecting with each other in a really beautiful way. Okay, so that it not a bad reading all in all, but I feel like um, there's just a little... I want to say a little stress in trying to um, heal this situation. Okay, so that's what I have for the card portion. Now, if that doesn't resonate for you, perhaps the charms will. So we're going to pull some charms for these lovely labels for the week. All right, what else can you give us, Spirit? What can you give for the lovely Libras? I feel like this is it. Yeah, okay, this is the second time this has come out today, um, and I love to see this for you, especially because I do feel like it goes with the cards. Um, I always see this one as providing clarity. I have two. One's a little foggier, and this one's very clear. Um, and every time I get it, I feel like whatever was kind of clouding up this situation comes to light and can be healed. Um, so it can be released, okay? Um, so that's just another confirmation. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, for some of you, this is a love situation. Um, I feel like it just shows your heart and your commitment and your loyalty to this person and this situation. The fact that you didn't just walk away. Um, you may have given it a little space, but you didn't just walk away. I feel like you really um, stuck in there and took that leadership role like you were supposed to to help heal this situation, right? Um for others of you where the reading doesn't resonate and I feel like um, people are seeing you for the heart that you have for your heart um, and the way you wear it on your sleeve, um, that could kind of go for both. But I feel like um, on a separate note, um, you're really being seen as this loving, kind individual that you are. And I feel like you bring a lot to the table. So that's for everyone. I feel like... Um, it's like the key in this situation um, is your heart and, and the way you sort of give it, okay? Um, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, okay, the compass. Yeah, okay, so I hear for some of you, you also walk through this life letting your heart and your emotions be your compass. Um, and you're not wrong for doing so. I feel like that's just the way you are, the way you're wired. Um, but I feel like that's a really beautiful part of you. We have this softness here again with the jellyfish. Um, so this could go with either um, the reading or not. Um, I feel like there's a softness and a kindness to you that really, um, I hear not only does it open doors for you in your life, um, but I feel like it's actually the key to help people sort of open up to you as well. Um, this may be something to do with your work and um, you providing a safe place for people to land. So I don't know if you um, work with others in like a counseling type of position um, or maybe someone actually wants to go towards that type of helping uh, job. So I'm just kind of getting that energy and, and, and feeling like it's a good fit. Um, so you could already be doing this or um, maybe are heading in that direction. Um, if not, and it's just the people in your life, you're really being commended on the fact that you are providing that safe place for others. Um, and I feel like that's it's noticed, okay? Um, I hear you don't go unnoticed in that way. Uh, I kind of feel like that's your star shine. Um, the fact that you do have a good heart. It's like this person, I, I do hear something about confidence as well. Um, and this is for anybody. I feel like you have a type of star quality when you walk into a room. Um, so not only are you loving and kind, but you shine. Um, and I feel like I hear it's a really great combo um, to sort of pull people in. I don't know if you do something on social media. Um, perhaps you uh, you guide people or you lead people in some way. Yeah. 
or you have the ability to do so. So if you're holding off on um, walking towards a dream that involves leading other people in a really beautiful heart-based way, um, you're being given the green light to step towards that. I feel like um, you do have what it takes to accomplish this goal or walk into this dream, okay? Let's see. We have some type of fast moving communication coming in. I did hear apology with this. Um, so for some of you who are maybe at odds with a partner, um, and it doesn't have to specifically be what was going on in the reading, but maybe at odds with a friend or a partner or a family member, um, I hear you weren't in the wrong, but and I do hear an apology will be incoming. So you'll know if that's for you. Um, angels. I feel like um, there is divine assistance uh, being given to you at this time, especially if you are at odds with someone that you really love and care about and you feel like I hear wrongly accused. Um, so that could be for someone if you feel like you're not you know, maybe you're not being protected in this situation. Just know that you are and that it is being guided by spirit um, ultimately to get to the resolution, okay? I hear hook, line, and sinker as soon as I pick this up and then I see a fish hook, um, but it's a finger, <laughs> kind of like this. Um, I kind of feel like, oh my, one second. Sorry, uh, sorry about that interruption. But we do have, oh yeah, the fish hook. Um, I hear hook, line, and sinker. I feel like you've really caught someone's attention and it's your star power, it's your heart, it's your kindness, your love, the way you kind of present yourself. I feel like you've really caught someone's attention um, and they could be coming in rather quickly to um, introduce themselves. I feel like they really want, um, they want to know you on a deeper level so that's for some of you. They see you as being an emperor or an empress. Um, so really standing in your power, a real leader, um, nurturing. Um, but also, I hear also a no-nonsense type of person. Um, so they know you won't stand for, I hear you won't stand for the BS. But um, you still have that sweetness to you. I... I I'm not certain, but I kind of feel like they're not certain. Yeah, that energy is so strange. It's like, I want to step towards you, but I'm not certain if you will look at me or tolerate my behavior. So I don't know if this person is more of a playful person or they're not how, not sure how to approach you. Um, so that's for some, but they do kind of want to race in and they do see your value. Um, so we get there in the end. <laughs> Okay, we have something, again, um, I'm seeing something about Christmas. So something good could be coming in around Christmas time. I heard payout, um, so this could be a monetary something coming around. Oh, okay, I hear Christmas bonus. So for some of you, you're looking forward to a Christmas bonus. Um, some of you might be surprised with a Christmas bonus. Um, so that's just a side note. Um... Yeah, now I got this for the main reading this morning. Something about dreams. Um, you could be having very strange, vivid dreams. Um, I hear something about pointing you in your direction. So I feel like there are spiritual messages in these dreams. And um, I feel like if you're looking up symbols and things that you've seen in your dreams, um, you might find something that really resonates. Um, so there may be answers if you just are willing to like look them up in like the dream stuff online. Yeah. Here, scaring fears away. Okay, I'm being told to couple these. Okay, so if we couple these and you've had some dreams that were, may have had some parts in them that were a little frightening, um... What I'm kind of getting from this is you're finding out what it actually means will uh, chase the fear portion away, okay? Um, because I feel like it looks scarier 
than the meaning actually is, okay? Um, so that is what I have for you, Libra. Uh, until next time.